guys, we're just gonna quick look at 18 by Jeremy Zucker. We just got a new song from him and this is pretty easy. You can just hear the guitar at the beginning, uh, which is uh, super easy. Just some easy power chord shapes out there and uh, there's a little bit of uh, But since we're playing on the acoustic guitar, so no talk about that. And now it's in a start tuning. You don't need any capo or such. So let's quickly dive into the chord shapes. It's in the key of E, my favorite key. So you can actually use the chord shapes in bar position if you want, or also in another way in which you don't have to bar actually, but you can actually play it very nicely. You can get some cool sounds, sus chords, right? So let's quickly have a look at the chord shapes. The first chords are E major, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0. A major, mute open, second, second, second open. When you lift off your pinky from the B string second fret, it will be a open. So now it's a A sus two. Same for the B major chord, a whole step up, it will be a B. So mute two four four four. If you want, you can even play this B major chord. So B major. Now again, if you lift off your, it's a B sus. But we just gonna try out this variation, which is mute two four four open open. So I keep the B and high E string open. If you want to avoid bar chords, you can do so. Same for the C sharp minor chord. It will be mute, 4, 6, 6, 5 on the B, and the high E string is open. That's a easy position, you don't have to bar. If you want to bar, you can just add 4th fret on the high E string. That's it. Now let's get started with the main riff of the song, which actually starts off with the intro. Then we, it actually gets followed by the verse. So we have... So it's basically an E5 power chord. First thing is palm reading, which is having this part of the hand. Rest it just in front of the bridge of the guitar. Over here, get a very soft sound. Uh, now, E5 power chord. So we got the E and we have the fifth. And that's it. That's E5, no major, no minor, since we don't have the third. So I'm having my index on seventh fret of A and my ring, I'm sorry, my pinky on D string ninth fret. And all other strings are needed when I'm playing a power chord. Keep that in mind. Only the A and D string is ringing for the E5. So I'm going one, two, three, four. I noticed one thing on the third count, I actually kind of try to focus on it. So one, two, three, four, like that. So we have one, two, three, four. You see that? One, two, three, four. I'm doing down mainly on the A and E string only, but still I get some scratchy sound on the other strings, but still I kind of loud, a little bit strong, harder on the third count. So we have one, two, three, four. Then you do one, two, and then the rest three, four, you're gonna finish off on the B5, which is the same shape, just one string up. So seven on the top E, E string, ninth fret. And other strings are muted over here. So one, two, three, four. So three, four. So you got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see that how I change the chord? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What I see is, they are playing the E5 chord right over here, which is uh, 12 on the E, 14 on the, a string so in that case you don't actually have to hold the a and e string you can just go like that's how it actually goes in the song but still if you want you can play the e5 chord in this position it really doesn't matter a lot but all matters is a slight part like you're gonna get that slight that sound which i actually get so if you want you can just try that if you have this cutaway guitar if you don't have the cut then it might be some problem for some somebody maybe so we are one two three four one two three four and then A5, I'm gonna go for two bars. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five on the E, seven on the A. And that's it, that's the main riff. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two. Let's try out this way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. What happens is when you play in this shape, you don't actually have to lift off. In this case, we are lifting off and then moving to a different strings but in that case you're not doing that so so you're actually in a flow which we really want so it's up something up to you and now we just have a look at uh, the chorus part uh, we're gonna have chord progression e major then a b major then a c sharp minor then an a major again you can play the sus chords and the open strings chord if you want to avoid the bar chords the string prime will be down down up up down that on bar chords as well as you can even have a different string pattern which kind of will be 
mainly focus on uh, the strumming pattern which you did for the main riff one two three four one two three four so let's see how it sounds when we put one two three four on this chord progression so what i'm doing over here is basically i'm going one two three four and that's the same thing so i'm going one two three so on the four i'm going down up down up and one two down down and the three double down is louder so i got one two down down up down up that's it so you got That's the whole song. I hope this video helps you out. Let me know what song you just want to learn by uh, Jeremy Zucker. If you have any subscribe, make sure you do so. That's going to help my channel a lot. I'm just going to reach 5k as fast as possible. So make sure to help me to reach that. And that's pretty much everything. Bye.